Okay, hello dear friends. Let's take a look at question number six. An evacuated container is to be filled with carbon dioxide at 300 degree and uh, Celsius and 500 Haomigongzhu MMGH by introducing a piece of dry ice solid uh, CO2. If the volume of the container is one liter, what mass of dry ice must be used? So what mass? It, it's asking about the weight, the mass. Then we need to know the molar value, the molarity. So what, what are we going to use? P V equal N R T. Pressure is five hundred M M G H. Five hundred M M G H equal to how many M P? Seven hundred sixty M M G H is one A T M five hundred fifty M five hundred M M G H equal to how many? So how many X equal to Mm -hmm. 500 divided by 500 divided by 6 7 6 0 equal to four by 2 7 6 0 uh -uh, so. Equal to zero point six five seven nine. Okay, so this is um ATM P. V volume is one liter, right? One liter. And uh, R equal to zero point zero eight two zero five seven and uh, uh, T equal to 300 Celsius, 300 plus 273 equal to 573 K. N equal to P V over R T equal to R 0 0.0. Uh, no, P, sorry. P is zero six five seven nine. P V times one zero point zero eight two zero five seven times five seven three equal to Zero point three. Oh,
equal to zero point zero one three nine nine. Okay, so how many mole do we need? We need this many mole. I am sorry, I need to yeah, shrink it a little bit. So we need this number of mole and uh, CO2, CO2. <clears throat> so CO2 molar, mol, CO2 molar mass. C is 12, carbon is 12, and 16 times 2, so is 44, and 0 0.01399 times 44 equal to times 44 equal to 0 0.61566 gram Okay, so what we get is there are 0 0.61 gram, that is it. Where is the question? So we need to put uh, 0 0.61. Gram. Zero point six one gram. That's so small, it does not make sense. Yeah. And that is actually is it. That is it. Okay, hello dear friends. Question number six, the second six. A plastic bag is weighed and then filled successively with two gases, X and Y. The following data are gathered. Temperature zero degree, pressure one atm, mass of empty bag. So the plastic bag itself has weight 20.77 gram, mass of bag filled with gas X, 24.97 gram, gas of mass of 1.12 liter of air, air at condition it's given. 1.3 gram Vo volume of the bag 1.12 liter molar volume at stp 22.4 liter so they ask the mass of 1.12 liter of gas y is found to be 6.0 23 gram find the density of gas y and what is the molar mass of gas y so what we are going to do it gives us all the information about x and then they ask everything about y not about x this is a trick why this is a trick because <coughs> at certain uh at a certain measurement, at a certain volume, certain pressure, the, 
the molar number of molar, the molar number in that container is the same no matter it's x or y. So that is the reason. So we will do the calculation first. Six, six. So molar volume and uh, and weight. So much about weight. So the formula P V equal N R T. Okay. <laughs> So the mass of empty bag, mass of bag filled with gas, and mass of air. So we need to figure out the mass of the gas. Bag mass of X equal to what? The whole bag is 24.97 it needs to deduct the bag weight 20.77 and it need to deduct the air 1.30 so we get This is at the very bottom of the night, so I need to use my calculator. 24.97 minus 20.77 minus 1.3 equal to 2.9. So equal to 2.9 gram, okay? So, but we need to know the P, pressure, pressure, Pressure equal one ATM temperature equal two three seven K two seven three K and volume equal one point twelve liter Molar volume at uh, this is actually give us the reference number of, uh, of uh, uh, the constant number is uh, zero point zero eight two zero five seven. It's kind of interesting because one more molar volume one more takes Do they give us this molar volume anyway? So N equal P E over R T equal to P pressure one times V volume volume E 
linear divided by ling ding ling bar r ling yi qi cheng yi temperature r by qi shi san dan yi yi dian yi r cheng yi ling dian ling ba r ling wu qi cheng yi r qi san equal ling dian ling wu okay so we have 0.05 mol 0.05 mol for x is this mol for y is also this mol and um, 0.05 mol is 6.0 Zero point zero five mol is six point twenty three gram. So one mol is how many gram? X equal to zero point zero five over six point at uh, six point two three over zero. Equal to six six point two three divided by zero point zero five equal to one hundred twenty four point six. And the mass of the gas is one point one hundred twenty four point six gram. The mass of the gas, mass, a molar mass of uh, of y. And this is the molar mass of y. One point one twenty four point six. And the density of the gas is density density is six point twenty three divided by one point one two liter. Six point twenty three divided by one point one two. Five point five six. Five point five six is the density. Density. Gram per liter. Oh oh, a little bit out of the range. Okay, hello, dear friends. Let's try question number eight. A particular. Let enlarge a little bit. A particular balloon is designed by its manufacturer to be inflated to a volume of no more than 2.5 liter. So if it is big, bigger than that, it will be bong, like when you go to farmer's market, there is this balloon guy. 
and uh, sometimes he makes too much effort and boom, that is the story. If the balloon is filled to a 2.0 liter uh, with high, high qi, H -E, at sea level, at sea level must be the standard uh, um, the standard uh, uh, um, condition, standard condition of uh, temperature and uh, and uh, uh, standard, yeah. Uh, the pressure is uh, is one atm. Is released and rise to an altitude at which the atmospheric pressure is only. 500 mmHg will the balloon burst assume the temperature is constant so this one there is no weight involved so we are going to use the combined gas rule which is where is my paper which is, where is my paper? <laughs> okay, so this one we will use, we know two rules. One is PV, PV over T rule. One, 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 two, two, two. And this one temperature is the same, so we can we can uh, cross cancel this temperature. This question is question number eight, right? Yes. So at the first condition is two liter. Pressure is one. ATM and the pressure is the pressure is one ATM and the volume is two point zero liter equal to the second pressure is five hundred M M H G. One thing we know is that six six seven hundred sixty M M H G is one A T M. So five hundred is X A. T M, so x equal to x equal to seven six zero five hundred over um five hundred over six seven sixty. Okay, so. ATM. How many volume? X volume. X liter. So ATM, ATM cancel out. X equal to liter, liter cancel out. No. Um, yeah, liter is what we need. X equal to 500 over, uh, five, uh, to divide 6, 7, uh, 7, 6, 0 times 2. I'm sorry, this is already at the, at the very bottom of the night. 
the bottom of the knight. So x equal to, it uh, must be three something. And e o r ling chu yi o o. So, 355, 3.4, so 3.04, so equal 3.04 liter. Okay, so this gas in the pressure of 500 mmHg, the volume will be 3.04 liter. And this balloon cannot be bigger than 2.5. So what we are going to see is bang. Boom, it opened up. So the answer is Will the balloon burst? Yes. The balloon will be fed up and burst. Bong, 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 bong. Okay, hey, hello dear friends, question number nine. Airbags are activated when a severe impact causes a steel ball to make sure to compress a spring and electrically inflate a denotator cap. I don't know how to translate it, it's just a bang, something happened, and then there is a there is a ball make uh, um, make cause some kind of explosion, and uh, <clears throat> this causes sodium azide NaN three. This is in Chinese, die dan hua na. I don't know how to say it in English. To decompose according to the following reaction. This is a formula for the reaction, the chemical equation. 2NaN3 uh, solid change into 2Na solid plus 3N2G gas. What mass of NaN3 solid needs to be reacted? in order to inflate an airbag to 70 uh, liter at STP standard condition of uh, temperature and, uh, and the pressure, which is uh, zero degree, and um, pressure is one ATM, and uh, that's about it. Okay, so whenever we do any of this kind of uh, question, the gas question, there are two formulas before you die you need to remember. One is ideal ga gas formula, PV equal to NRT, P pressure, V volume, N mole number, R is a constant, is a fixed uh, number. T is temperature in Kelvin. And another formula you will need to remember. P1, V1 over T1 equal to P2, V2 over T2. And then there are some... Uh, Guy Lucas or, or some different name. 
uh, which is P1 V1 equal to P2 V2. This is when the condition, the temperature does not change. It is the same thing, actually. When the temperature do not change, you can cross cancel. But the most important, you remember this one. And another one is P1 over T1 equal to P2 over T2. That is in the condition that volume is the same. Volume is the same, it cross cancel, right? So you, you, you can remember all these, but not so important as long as you remember this one. PV over T, PV over T, that's the most important. Another thing is V1 over T1 equal to V2 over T2. This means when the pressure is the same. When the pressure is the same, we can over cancel this P and P pressure and becomes V1 over T1. Okay, so these two formulas, before you die, remember it. And um, no matter you do cooking, no matter you do babysitting, no matter do you do whatever, just remember it. Before you die, remember it. No matter your son learn chemistry or not, no matter your daughter is doctor or not, no matter you eat burger or not, whatever you do, yeah. wherever you are, whatever you do, you remember these two formula. Wherever you go, whatever you do, remember it. Most important. Okay, come back to this question. <clears throat> what mass of and is needed to react in order to inflate a bag of 70, uh, uh, 70 liter at a certain condition. So it asks us how about uh, the mass of uh, the mass or the weight of NaN3. So it's about the mole and mole number. This time, Whenever they ask about mass, about a specific quantity of one of the the one of the ingredients, no matter vinegar, no matter uh, soya sauce, if they ask about uh, uh, one of the ingredients, very likely is about a mole number, and mole number can transfer into weight, atomic weight, or, or, or a mass, it, you, can, you can go from there to figure out a specific, specific uh, quantity. Okay, so we use this quantity, PV equal to NRT, and at this question we know P Pressure is 1 atm because it's a standard, right? P is 1 atm and temperature, V volume is given 70 liter. I write it z the point zero, okay? 70 liter. And uh, what else do we need to know? Um, R, we know, R equal to 0 0.082057. I already remember it because tonight I have done 11 of these questions. So after 11 times, I already remember it. Otherwise, you can search um, Ken Academy, there are some exercise, and in those exercise, there is uh, this number in it. I look at around many times, so I remember it. L A T M K negative one mol negative one. Okay, I copy it exactly because it's important. Okay, and temperature, it's a standard, so it's a, 
zero degree Fahrenheit and two uh, zero degree Celsius. So it's a two seven three Kelvin. Okay, now we need to we are looking for the n just pure arithmetic n equal to uh, PV over RT. Okay, so we plug in all these numbers. P is one ATM times V volume seven point zero liter and R is zero point zero eight two zero five seven L ATM and then K over one we can put K on top mole on top and T temperature is two seven three K and at this time we can cross cancel whatever we don't like or whatever is redundant ATM the unit cancel out liter cancel out K temperature cancel out and what we left in unit is the mole that is exactly what we want right and now plug in my decimal calculator and do the calculation okay i will open a new decimal window okay maybe you would like to see a little bit start graphing okay this will get out of my way you are, mm -mm, you are out of my league. 70 divided by 0 0.082057. Uh oh, I always make it wrong. 0 0.057 times 273 so we get 3 point uh, I will write down exactly okay I will write down the mole number what we get the mole number is you are out of my lead. Okay. The mole number is three point one two four seven eight two two four one seven four. Anyway, you do not need to write so long. Okay, we know the mole number of the of the n2 then so now we need to write down 2 n a n 3 change to 2 n a plus 3 n 2 so this one is um, uh, 3 point one two four seven eight like this and how many mole we need we need
equal to 2.83 2 da, 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 da. okay so now we got the mole number of an AN3 and now we need to know the molecule molar molarity or molecule weight an a is twenty three twenty three n three is let's say fourteen times three so the total twenty three plus forty two twenty three forty two twenty three forty two plus twenty three forty two is sixty five so sixty five now we need to do what sixty five molarity times two point zero eight three two equal to times fifty sixty five equal to one hundred thirty five point four zero seven gram and that is the result so we need 135 gram of an AN3 to finish to make the bomb airbag and to to do what we need to do thank you very much okay hello dear friend question number 10 question number 10 really spend me some time and it's kind of more complicated than others. Let's do it. Consider the reaction between 50 milliliter of liquid methanol CH3OH density 0 0.850 gram per milliliter and 22.8 liter of oxygen at 27 celsius and a pressure of 2.008 atm the product of the reaction are co2 and h o h2 o and water carbon dioxide and water calculate the number of moles of uh, uh, water formed if the reaction goes to completion okay so to begin with we need to know the chemical reaction the chemical reaction we will write it down nice and easy it's already written here the chemical reaction we just need to copy Question number 10. The chemical reaction is CH3OH plus O2 into, I don't know if this, I forgot how to write. This is uh, 
reversible or irreversible. Anyway, I will write down like this. The teachers know. Anyway, it's not my test. Uh, change into carbon dioxide plus water. It took me quite some time to figure out the 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 constant in front of it, the coefficient in front of it. Anyway, finally I got it. So these need to be two 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 yes. I already figured it out. Let me try it again. I think this one is two. Two, two, two carbon, eight, eight uh, uh, hydrogen. There must be four, eight hydrogen and two oxygen, four oxygen, four oxygen, eight oxygen, so this should be two, four, four, this will be three, right? Yes, so two, can you see it? Oh, this two is not clear. Two carbon, eight hydrogen, eight hydrogen, two oxygen, six oxygen, eight oxygen, two oxygen, four oxygen, four oxygen, so this one we 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 rebalanced stoichiometry stoichiometry so we balance it because we are good right because i work it out look at that body no look at that formula i work it out Dun da da di 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 So, density of, uh, of this 50 liter with such density, how much is the weight? We need to know. Okay, so 50 liter, milliliter times 0. 850 gram per milliliter equal to I bet it's at the bottom of the night so I need to use a calculator please excuse me times 0.85 so uh oh times 0 0.85 so it's 42.5 gram so we have pure 42.5 gram and um, CH3OH molar mass mass is C is carbon 12 C oxygen
oxygen. Oxygen, as I remember, is 16. 16. 1. 20. 32. 32. And how many more we have? 42.5. Five divided by thirty two equal to one point three two eight one two five mole. Okay, now we need to calculate and now we need to calculate 22.8 oxygen at 27 degree and pressure of 2 atm so we have the weight we have temperature and the pressure we need to calculate the mole of uh, of uh, number of moles of oxygen. Oxygen, use PV equal NRT. And now we know P, P equal to 2ATM volume. V equal 22.8 liter and temperature R ATM 0 0.082057. I already know it. Temperature is 27 degrees, so it's a 300. Okay, and the unit is liter ATM, okay, mole, okay, so N equal PV over RT equal P two ATM twenty two point eight liter zero point zero eight two zero five seven liter ATM K mole and here we need three hundred T is 300 T, 300 K, okay, cancel out, ATM, get out of my way, out of my way, K, K, and then it's the mole number, 2.22.8, divided by such, now we will calculate, use my Mm -hmm. Okay, you want to see it? You want to see it? Yava sham, yava sham, I give ya. Yava, see it, I give ya. Two times 8 divided by 0 0.082057 times 300 equal to 1.8524 equal to Two, 
Okay, we go here. So this is the oxygen and uh, and um, and this is the um, CH3OOH. So you can see this number divided by two and this number divided by three. This number divided by two is around six point six and this number divided by three is six so oxygen this number is more so it means this is extra too many and this one will be completely used up and this one will have some extra it's not uh, uh, at its uh, critical point that everything is used up. This one has excess, this one is just used up. So, um, we calculate so much, it, it does not uh, need it. It just proves that oxygen, between these two, we will choose one, we will choose oxygen. divided by three equal to divided by two equal to So, we know I write it down. Proportionally, proportionally, CH three OH is more than oxygen. So we use the quantity. oxygen for calculation. Okay, so we use oxygen for calculation. Now we keep on and um, number 10, calculate the number of moles of uh, of water formed if the reaction goes to completion. Oxygen, oxygen is this, and water, how many water do we need? Because three, the, <clears throat> I have a hard time to explain. Oxygen. Three O 
accident. Okay, three oxygen. Needs one point eight five two. Or we can we can do this way. Okay, one molar for oxygen. It needs a three, three uh, molar, three times of this, uh, of this number, and for up for water. Okay. So for oxygen, one unit is this number. Three unit is this number. Water, one unit is this number. Four unit will be water will be four times this number. Oh, 一点八五。二三七除以三 This is the mole number. Equal to 乘以四 times four. Two point four six nine eight. So we need two point six nine eight mole. So we need this much of water. How many? Determine the number of of the water if it goes to completion. So eight. Comes out two point four seven mole of water. Okay, that uh -oh. that is the result. Okay. Hello, dear friends. Now let's take a look at question eleven. Eleven. A gas consisting of only carbon and hydrogen has an empirical empirical formula of CH two. The gas has an has a density of one point sixty five gram per liter at twenty seven Celsius. And seven three four T O R R tor. Uh, determine the molar mass and the molecule molecule uh, formula of the gas. Okay, what here? We know a gas that is consist of uh, of uh, C H two C H carbon and hydrogen. CH two is uh, it's the simplest, the least composition. It but CH two itself, it 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 does not exist. The covalent bond and uh, the um, the 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 electrons is just not sufficient enough. So so it could be C two H four that uh, proportionally. Every one carbon goes with two uh, hydrogen, or C three 
H6 or C4 H8 or C5 H10 H10 etc etc like this so we are guessing which one of these or C N H2 N if mathematically we write it down and what they tell us it's they tell us the density which is a weight and it's a specific weight not specific weight it's um it's kind of a specific it's a a, a particular a certain weight um, and there is weight so you can transfer it to into a mole so you i kind of get what formula we are going to use temperature pressure all this mm -hmm. before we die we need to remember pv equal nrt before we die we need to remember pv over t equal to pv over t one 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 two one 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 two 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 these two formula are the most important before we die and here we need to calculate the mole number and the molecule molar molarity all these things so we are going to use the first formula okay question 11 everything based on p v equal n r t and let's go one by one p pressure is seven three four tall t o o r v volume is one liter one liter and temperature temperature is 23 celsius so 300 kelvin and r go back to our can academy the r is da -da 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 Okay, sixty-two six. Okay, I will write it down. Okay, I will not zoom too much, otherwise you cannot see anything, right? Okay, R equal to sixty-two point seven L two. Okay, mole. So we need to figure out R equal to PV over RT. P is seven three four two. V is one liter and R sixty two point three six three five eight L two K Marl two times temperature RT times 300 Kelvin okay I may need to make sure that I always use write down the unit can cross cancel out so the leftover is more this is exactly what we need we just need to do the calculation Okay, go to my decimal. So it's uh, 
This is the previous one. Now we need to do this one. Seven three four divided by Liu Shi Er Dear Sun Liu Sun Wu Ba Cheng Yi Sun Bai Sun Ling Ling Deng Yu Ling Dian Sun Jiu Er Sun Er Er Jiu Jiu Okay, I will copy this one equal to Ling Dian Ling Sun Jiu Er Sun Er Sun Okay, now we know the mole mole number. So with such mole number, how many gram it is? It's one point six five. So, zero point zero three nine two three two three is this mole number is one point six five mole mole is one point six five gram now we want to know one mole how many gram make sense cross cancel out so x equal to this 1.65 divided by 0 0.039. Okay, I write it down. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, by this number, right? So, 1.65 divided by such. Equal to 42.05. So, write it down. equal to 42. Okay, so this one is molarity, molarity, no, molecule mass. And we know the least simple, the empirical formula is CH2. C is 12, H2 is 2, so it makes 14. 42 divided by 14 equal to 3. So we get the formula is C3H6. So we need... So... We figure out the question is determine the molar mass. So the molar mass is 62, uh, 42, which is molar mass. And this is the formula. Formula. Now we figure it out. Okay, thank you very, 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 very much.